Hi, I'm Danielle Porter, and I'm here today to talk to you about what I did in Montgomery County to increase the participation in their FNF classes with the UT Extension program during my practicum. The dates of that program were September the 12th to December the 5th, and I spent 124 and a half hours with them. First off, I want to start by explaining what exactly FNEP is. FNEP is short for the Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program. It began in 1969 as a land-grant extension program. It is a federally funded community outreach program built with paraprofessional staff, meaning peers. Its goal is to influence the nutrition and activity, level, activity behaviors of low-income families. And I wanted to stop right there and explain what exactly low-income family means, because there, there is a different interpretation for that. There are multiple levels of poverty. Poverty is generally seen as either you are in poverty or you are not in poverty, and that's just not the case. 100% poverty and below is truly the poverty line. FNEP and many other social programs really get 185% poverty and below. And what that what does that mean? In Montgomery County, 100% poverty level for a family of four is $24,300 a year to live off of. 185% gets them up to $44,955 a year. That makes them qualify for SNAP benefits, WIC benefits, free or reduced lunches in the school system, and that is our target audience, families that are eligible for those benefits. So continuing on with slide number two, you can see a picture here of the team that I worked with. They were so wonderful. And the two women at the bottom on the outside, Shalise Ogburn and Doretha Minor, are the two program assistants I worked with most closely with. They are the teachers of the Eat Smart program and the Eat Smart program is what FNEP does. We enroll people for the Eat Smart program and Doretha and Shalise teach those classes and what they teach is nutrition education and how to build in a healthier lifestyle. So the objectives of my project. I had three objectives that really culminated in one large objective. Objective number one was to increase the rate of overall Facebook page likes by 30% without, without adding to the marketing budget. I'll explain a little more in a moment about what exactly that means. Objective number two was re-engaging with a local Title I elementary school, More Magnet, to forge a partnership. And again, I will revisit that in just a moment. And objective number three is to create a database of community organizations that serve FNEP's desired demographic to begin a reciprocal community relationship. All three of those objectives really all funnel into growing the FNEP Eat Smart class enrollment and ultimately the graduation rate. So let's go back a little bit and talk about what exactly objective number one means. Objective number one stemmed out of the fact that there FNEP has a Facebook page. UT Extension Program has a Facebook page for all of the organizations that fall under their umbrella in our county. But FNEP had no footprint in that. So my intention was to go in social media-wise and really make us a household name in Montgomery County by putting our footprint in there. Objective number two, re-engaging with the local Title I elementary school, More Magnet. That stemmed out of the fact that in 2014, federally, F the FNEP program changed their goals. They decided they no longer wanted to market and engage to children because they do not hold the buying power in their home, the, the food dollar buying power, and really ultimately what is purchased and cooked and eaten in the house. So the federal program pushed down a policy change that changed that. Well, during that, the local FNEPs, Montgomery County and many of the other ones, saw that as to pull back from the local schools, the local school system, and really say, well, well if we can't engage with the schools, then we, then we can't engage with the students. And that's just not true. The parents still are active at the school, and so the parents are still there. So re-engaging in that. And then creating a database of community organizations is exactly that. We want to create a reciprocal relationship with them. 
So moving on to slide number four is my methods. I use the FNEP computer and iPad to engage social media, to create engaging social media content and blog posts. What I did there was really put a footprint of valuable content out. I want FNEP to be seen as someone who knows what they're talking about, and that's a really good way to do that and leave a lasting footprint. School engagement was exactly what I said. I engaged, I created a bulletin board that will be installed at the, at the local school at Moore Magnet and really kind of started a relationship there that can hopefully grow. Community database. I created a database that will be used as a call list and the best way to explain this truly is through example. Habitat for Humanity serves the same demographic that we do and putting them on our community database I created a list of community organizations and assigned each of those organizations to a program assistant that would become their contact. Basically what that meant was if Habitat for Humanity was hosting a class or had a family that could use our services they would then personally refer them to us. And we in turn we would do the same if we were working with a class and one of the families in our class could use Habitat for Humanity services we would then personally refer them to Habitat for Humanity. So moving on to the fun part the results. Slide number five shows you what exactly happened during my time from well in this reports October 1st to December 5th that's because that is their measuring time begins on October the 1st. Overall, graduation grew from 40% graduates to 48% graduates, which is an excellent increase. Social media, I increased the overall page likes by 106%, reversing a negative trend that was happening in 2015. And lastly, I created a community database with 52 entries, 18 of which have, of those have already been contacted. So really into the meat and potatoes of what I found there and how I want to recommend to continue the work that I started. So I would recommend that they continue the social media engagement to grow FNEP as a household name. Right now it's still a little in obscurity and so I really think that re-engaging there will help or continuing engagement. I would encourage them to continue to host quarterly recruitment events. I began two of those while I was there, so I'd like to see them do a full year or two to really see what the, the impact that those, those events have on the community. I'd also like to see them reestablish a connection with every elementary school in the county and have an agent begin a class with the parents at that school. I would also like for them to create a Facebook page specifically for FNEP. Right now, all of University of Tennessee's extension program is housed under one Facebook page. That does not serve our demographic well and that doesn't serve anyone else's demographic well because they're all different audiences. For example, 4-H and the Master Gardeners are on there. Master Gardeners markets their, their services, their classes to a retired community. We don't deal with retirement communities so the content that we're giving doesn't resonate with them. It, by separating those two things you're really laser focused in who your audience is. And lastly, have an agent schedule their class before inviting people to them. That was one of the major problems that I saw while I was there was that the agents would, or excuse me, the program assistants would go to a recruiting event like Halloween or Taste of the Holidays and collect names and say, well, I will give you a call and, and we'll figure out a time to do a class. Instead, I would like to see them change to a, to, to a schedule where they go to the to the event, to the recruiting event, to wherever they meet people and say, we have a class beginning December the 15th at Montgomery County Library. Would you like to enroll right now? Giving the audience something to enroll to immediately really helps them know that we do care. While I was there, I did see the lag in when the, when the families were contacted. I mean, oftentimes it was weeks before they were ever contacted, and that's just not acceptable. And the same weeks, if not ever. And that really shows that, that shows them, it, it gives a perspective that we don't care about the community, and that's just not true. So having, a, having an event and following up immediately would truly help that. Lastly, limitations. I had no control over what the individual agents did with the family's information once it had been collected. And also, many of the efforts that I employed will not be shown until the 2017 reporting cycle. I would like to say if you have any questions about my time at the FNEP, you please email me or let me know, and I would be happy to answer those. Thank you. Have a great day.